A NASA satellite that Princeton researchers helped to design and build has delivered new evidence supporting current versions of the Big Bang Theory. Scientists say their increasingly precise measurements of fossil light from the early days of the universe are a good match for what the theory predicts. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The metal frame full of horn-like tubes in Lyman Page's office is identical to what's inside a back-to-back -back pair of radio antennas roughly a million miles from here. This is the prototype used to test the design before NASA built and launched the satellite known as WMAP, short for the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe. The microwave radiation it's tuned to receive is assumed to be light, set free shortly after the Big Bang, stretched out to radio frequencies. And so, as it trails the Earth in orbit around the Sun, the satellite maps the edge of the visible universe twice a year. Every new set of measurements sharpens the picture. What we have here is, uh, is a beach ball, <laughs> a little early in the season. But what, what we've done on this beach ball is put a map of the sky. So if you could get into the center of this beach ball and look out, you would see what's on the sky. Red and blue blobs represent parts of the sky where the satellite sees slightly warmer or colder radiation. Patterns are seen as the seeds of our present day universe. In the latest, sharpest set of measurements, researchers have found the signature of an elusive kind of particle called the neutrino, making up, as predicted by theory, around 10% of the very early universe. Joanna Dunkley probed the data with a pair of supercomputers. There are all these numbers, basically, that can describe, you know, the cosmos. And it, they come down to maybe six numbers, to begin with, can describe really large-scale properties. So then, you know, one of the things I do, for example, is I say, OK, I'm going to vary all those six numbers. It's like tuning knobs, basically, and saying which combination of those numbers produces a sky that looks most like the sky we've, we observe. And so, you know, we'll search through the space of possible universes and home in on the one that, that most that, that, that looks best. We want to know what, what was going on just after the Big Bang. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.